All right, we're looking here at the uh, next problem uh, page, which is SK2. And this one is a very busy one. Okay, give yourself plenty of time. Lots of detail on here. Little tiny circles, little bitty rectangles across here. And that, that's representing the little uh, uh, contacts that come out of the chip. This is an IC chip. It looks like a little electronic circuit board of some sort. Okay, and you're making it two times larger. It's a lot of work on here, so be sure and use your uh, little protector sheet, okay, to protect your wrist, your uh, side of your palm from breaking across the drawing and creating a uh, graphite mess. Okay, and then here you'll get a chance to uh, do the hexagon construction. You may need to practice that first on a separate sheet until you get the same look. If you want to take a, uh, a piece of paper and put over the top of this and actually sketch it out to figure out uh, how to do it, that's fine. The next sheet will challenge you. You're going to be making some large circle and uh, it needs to be centered okay on the uh, sketch area which is you know from here to here and uh, you'll need to make plenty of marks give yourself plenty of time sketching this and make plenty of marks of the radius so that you can make little tiny arcs and you'll make a perfect circle even though it's large. <clears throat> this one's a little different. Be careful on your measurements. You're making it three times larger and it's centered on the grid. So on this one you will need to box it out, figure out what size it is overall, and then find the center here and measure out and box, create the box that would contain it and uh, as long as it's within a half a grid or a grid or so, that's fine. If you want to make sure that you land on a grid, that's fine. But no more than a grid off either direction. On sheet four, uh, you'll need to do some very tight construction on this and lots of little points to get that in. You'll need to measure from the tangency point up here. You'll need to actually sketch out and find the center of uh, this, which is different from the center of, of this one. Okay, they're not all on the same center. <clears throat> Let's see. I correct myself there. They are on the same center. Okay, this one's not. So you'll need to sketch out some good horizontal vertical center lines and find the measurements this way. This uh, kind of shape was demonstrated in the chapter just briefly. So go back and review how this is constructed and you'll construct it on here. Don't rotate it and draw it long ways. Keep it at the same orientation. 